everybody! One of my favorite things about holiday palette time are probably the holiday lip kits. And this time of year, Bite, which is one of my favorite, favorite lip product brands, puts out a really good deal. And it tends to be a little tin of four different colors. It doesn't seem to stay in stock for a super long time, so that's why I'm putting this review out um, a little bit early in the scope of my holiday uh, makeup reviews. This year the set is called um, Best Bite Rewind, and it's a set of their matte cream lip crayons. So last year the set contained um, four of these high pigment lip pencils that had, you know, a little bit of shine. They're kind of like a creamy lipstick put into a jumbo pencil format. And this year it's all about the matte lip pencils. So the tin is just a little bit longer than the one was last year. And when you open it up, there's a nice little mirror here. They've been kind of nicely formed to a point, which of course, you know, that may not last depending on how you like to apply them. As you twist it all the way up, that's how much is in each one. Before we talk really specifically about colors, um, I'll just let you know I'm pretty pumped about this formula, the matte lip creams. I've had a couple of these already and they're really cool because they go on you got that precision of having you know the slimmer stick but I think they feel like a really nourishing cream lipstick going on but they just manage to still have that matte finish. Anytime I put on a matte lip I've noticed this like if you put it on your top lip let's say and then you press your lips together and that color can transfer down to your lower lip then I think you've really got a matte lip color with some moisture in it and all of these do that. I find them to be really long wearing even the lighter shades without drying me out. They just don't feel like that tight mask of a matte lip product um, on your lips. Nobody out there is probably shocked that I enjoy this formula. I'm a huge fan of the Luminous Cream lipsticks from Bite. Those just feel so buttery on the lips. They usually have like a little hint of shine because there just is so much moisture in those lip products. These, you know, are scaled back a little bit in that way because they still give you the matte finish. But nonetheless, they feel so creamy me going on. They don't tug at all. And I mean, for 25 bucks to get four shades that are super pigmented, um, each one completely different from the next. Personally, I'm super happy with it. And I know this is going to be one of my favorite lip kits of the season. Now, it's interesting because I looked at the configuration of colors that were in last year's kit. And it's like you have kind of a soft nudie shade. You have your really wearable rose, um, a reddish color, and then a deeper berry. And that really is the format that they followed here as well. So while I feel like I'm getting kind of a similar shade range this year, I've still got a totally different finish. So let's go through shade by shade. I tried these all on for you. The lightest one is called Cafe. This is kind of like a soft pinky nude. Um, if you've maybe got a lot of tones like this in your makeup collection, but um, not a lot of them show up very opaque on your lips. This one just completely, you know, blanks out your lips. You're not going to see your own lip color through it. There's nothing sheer about it. But I think it's really fresh and pretty, and it's kind of a fun mixer shade with some of these others. That's another thing, you know, you don't have to just wear them one at a time. Next up, you've got Tort, and this would be, I think, the classic wearable pinky rose, like the every woman type lip color. You know, I think it flatters every complexion. Uh, it just gives you a boost when you put on a shade like this. You know, if you go from not wearing any lip product to putting this on, you just look more alive. And throughout this video, what you've been seeing on my lips, I've put Tort all over, and then I've put Cafe just here in the center of the lower lip. And I feel like it gave so much added fullness. It's still a matte effect because I would normally do that kind of thing with like a shiny, shimmery gloss, but I really like the effect um, with the light matte shade kind of in the center of a deeper color. Next you've got Cooley and this is a reddish berry. Um, definitely heavier on the red than I thought it would be. Just looking at it in the packaging I thought it would be more of a berry but it came off quite reddish on the lips and it's very very close to pomegranate. If you love the color of Bites Luminous Cream Lipstick or High Pigment Lip Pencil in pomegranate this is close to that. Just has a tinge more berry to it but it's a gorgeous shade. A super holiday appropriate shade. Very festive. I love it. Lastly, we have Aubergine, which is your nice, deep, classic, fall berry. A lot of purple coming into this shade. It's going to look so beautiful with your simple eye looks or I'm picturing this looking awesome alongside a bronzy eye or also, you know, a cool kind of gray silvery eye. So I was looking up these colors just as far as um, individually sold matte lip cream pencils and the only one that's available individually is this one, um, the Aubergine. I didn't mention it in this video. I know I've talked about it in others, but the ingredients in their lip products 
products are like food grade quality. So known to be very replenishing for the lips. These are things you can really feel good about having on your lips and they just also feel good on the lips. And for a matte lip product, I think you're gonna be really happy with these. They're little kits that they put out in these tins every season, they seem to be $25. And I always feel like for the quality of their lip products, you're getting a lot for your money and it makes it just a nice little giftable thing. You know, for that small gift that you need to give somebody, I mean, who wouldn't love these shades? So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you again soon. Bye.